Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install the MSI Afterburner on-screen display. Now, I've been receiving many questions asking me how do I show up my computer statistics in the top left whilst recording benchmark videos. Basically what I'm talking about is the GPU utilization, the CPU utilization and stuff like that that I display in my benchmark videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to download MSI Afterburner from MSI's website. I'll leave a link in the description below if you can't find it. And what you want to do is you want to click on the downloads tab and you want to download the latest version of MSI Afterburner right here. Click on download Afterburner. Since I've already installed it, I'm just going to open it up right here. And you'll just be greeted with the program itself. Everything is set to default and I don't recommend messing around with the overclocks unless you know what you're doing. Now over here is just basically the overclocking stuff, the power limit, how much uh, card the power can take and the core clock, the core clock of the card and the memory clock of the card. Here's the fan speed, you can change that if you don't like the fan speed of the card. But we're just going to leave this as it is because today we're going to be uh, activating the on-screen display. So we're gonna do, uh, what you want to do is you want to go in settings and you want to go in monitoring. Over here is just basically a list of all the stuff you can monitor. So if I scroll down you can see all the stuff you can monitor on your screen. Now I'm just going to be selecting a couple because if you put all of them on it's just going to be a complete mess and a lot of them are not really useful. But anyway, I'm going to show you what settings I use. So first I'm going to go on GPU temperature and I'm going to select show an on screen display. This will let me show it on my display. And over here, I want to select this uh, checkbox which will let me change the name. Instead of having GPU, I can rename it to whatever I like. I'm going to rename it to GTX 97 to make it look more simpler on the screen. And I'm just going to do the same for GPU usage because I want them right next to each other. Once you do something exactly the same, like put GTX 970 here and GTX 970 here, they'll end up going right next to each other in like a row. So then you can have the temperature and the usage right next to each other. Now we're going to go on the core clock. Basically, I'm just going to click on show an on screen display and then override group name. So I'm just going to type in uh, core clock. I'll just type in GPU core instead actually because that's uh, too long. Then there's a word limit on it. Anyway, I'm going to go on memory clock now. And I'm just going to type in GPU mem. And then memory usage, I'm just going to go on VRAM. I'm just going to type in that. Makes it a bit more simpler. Now I'm going to scroll down and over here we have the frame rate. If you want to enable this, you should first of all press the checkbox because originally it's disabled. And then you want to show an on screen display. You don't need to change anything here because it's just for frame rate. Over here we have a CPU 1 temperature, CPU 2, CPU 3, CPU 4. These are basically your cores. These are the main temperatures of your cores. And then the usage of all your cores that you have in your system. If you've got like an 8 core CPU, then you have much more over here. If you've got a dual core, you have only 2 over here. It depends what your CPU is. So I'm just going to do the settings for mine, what I like to type in. So I'm just going to type in 4690K and then hashtag 1 as the first call, just to make it a bit more simpler. Now I'm just going to go in CPU temperature 2 and I'm going to do the same but I'm going to put it as 2 because it's the second call. I'm just going to do it for CPU 3 and I'll do it for CPU 4. Now as I want the GPU usage right next to the temperature, I'm going to do it exactly the same for CPU usage. So I'm going to put in uh, 4690k hashtag 1. It all depends on what you want to put in here. This is just my personal preference. As you can see we're just doing exactly the same over here. And I'm going to do 3. And then I'm going to do 4. So now we've done the CPU and the GPU, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down till we see RAM usage. I'm going to enable this, this is my personal preference as I said before. I'm just going to leave it on RAM because there's nothing special about this, it's just RAM. Everyone knows what RAM is. And anyway, I'm just going to press OK. And now you will see RiverTuner has launched. This is basically the statistic server, this is what displays uh, the text on your screen. It, connects to MSI Afterburner, they're both working together. MSI Afterburner sends over all the information through it and this displays it on your screen for you. Anyway, over here, this is where you configure your fonts and where you configure 
uh, your colours and all the background shadows. So I'm going to show you what settings I use personally. I click on raster 3D, this changes the type of font. And then when you double click on it, you can change what font you use. I use modern font and I use on standard. And there's many different fonts you can explore around and test. If you don't like this one, you can change it to a different one. Next over here is the on-screen display shadow. This is just basically a shadow in the background. It won't affect your uh, performance. Basically, all it does is makes it more visible when there's uh, lighter backgrounds. So it makes it stand out more, so it doesn't blend in with the background by any accidents. And you can press on, and as you can see, there's a sh uh, shadow around it. I'm going to change the colour to white because this is my preferable colour. And basically that's it. Over here you can change the font size if you don't like the original. I'm going to leave it on stock because that's the best that fits my screen. And over here is a spacing on your screen. This is basically if you want to move it around. If you want your on screen display here, you can move it over here. Or you can type it in manually if it's not fitting to, the, to your purpose. I'm just going to leave it on 10. 10. I could put it on one to one, but that would just be really, really close to the top left of the screen. It wouldn't be as uh, visible to me. Anyway, this is my settings, and now it's time to test it out. All right, guys. So right now I'm in an Unreal Engine 4 demo made by my friend Chrysan X, and as you can see, the MSI Afterburner on-screen display is currently working. Everything is being displayed correctly, and everything works fine. We've got the GPU temperature, GPU usage, the GPU core, and the GPU memory gonna mess around and as you can see it works perfectly fine so I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope it was helpful so thanks for watching please like subscribe and I'll see you next time peace out